opened up my pickle and now I'm gonna cut some salad and it's a low in saturated fat and the thing people don't understand that um paleo it is low carb but it doesn't mean it's high I mean I eat protein 30 fats 30 60 carbs on my athletic diet but you know it's one thing Fat does not equal fat. I'm not eating a lot of saturated fat. You know, I don't eat chicken skin. I cut off the um, fats from red meat. That's, you know, fats is like kind of low nutrition and high in calories. So I don't like that. And that's that helped me to get much leaner. You know, eating fish. And a lot of tons of vegetables and pickled vegetables too. So people, you know, mistake, you know, that oh, you know, paleo must be unhealthy to all that meat. No, you know, some hunt. You li listen, if you was a hunter gatherer somewhere in um like seaside, you would eat a lot of seafood and fish. And, and you would catch, you know, wild animals, they are much leaner, they're very lean. In fact, you would eat, I mean, we do need animal fats, don't get me wrong. And I have organic ghee and stuff like that. And the whole milk is whole, it's gonna be better than, uh, than fat-free milk. You shouldn't be drinking a lot of milk anyway, so... You know, drink a little bit, but drink full fat, or don't drink too much at all. And that's the misconception people have a lot about paleos. I avoid saturated fats, you know, because it's not good too much to have too much of them now. You know, the inflammation, all these things, the hydrogenated vegetable oils and... and um, you know, plant-based oils can also have saturated fats, and they, in fact, do a lot of them. So, you know, it's being mindful, it's not just following one dogma, but knowing about each food.